RC family here again. TTR Teen Tip Tuesday. Just came here to show y'all a little trick how to keep your brakes from fading out when you're out there bashing, especially have a long bash session. And your brake, you feel your brakes keep fading, fading, fading. And also when you're out there in the, in the main while you're racing, you notice in your mains how your brakes fade sometime when you've been in a long main. But this is a little tip to um, keep your brakes from fading as much. Um, and also it's just good tip to, um, without having to go into your radio, your radio and adjust your brakes as much. You may have to do it some, but this helps out a lot and it makes a difference in just keeping your brake linkage, keeping your brake linkage um, in order. So yeah, what I did was I took some, I got some high end needles. This is a high end needle from an engine and I got the O-ring, the black O-ring out of the high end needle. It's right here behind the flathead screw of the needle. I removed this because this material O-ring is harder than like this red O-ring right here. And also it's harder than your fuel tubing. Cause sometimes when you're in your brakes, you use the fuel tubing, it collapses the fuel tubing. This fuel tube don't have no support. And these right here are harder material that can withstand the torque or your servo when you're going to brake. So if you can use these and also you can maybe find these at A main, these O-rings right here, they black. Like I said, material I like these because this material is harder. I got this tip kind of from um, David Ronafalk. I want to show my RC family how I did it. Like I said, I got some old engines that I didn't use. Get, get an old engine, high end needle, old engine. If you don't have one, you make an order them. But if you have an old engine that, engine that you're not using, that's worn out, you can get the O-ring off of your high end needle from your engine. All I'm doing is just putting um, this harder material, just get it, the, the brakes a little bit more torque and make them engage a little bit more harder on your brake calipers, on your, on your car of truck so and also add a little spacer right here because on these adjustable um, brake linkages they adjust out you can, can, you can adjust here also before you can go into your radio and adjust you can adjust your brake linkage from this right here by just unscrewing it so I will use this I use a, a washer here just to keep the little small black washer. You keep the little small black washer here from getting caught up. See that little hole right there? From letting it get caught up in there. So that's why I'm using the washer. And I still use the little brake, little, the little half circle, little bumper in. So yeah, this is just a tip to get the best brake performance out your, in, out your car keep them brakes for fading so much so what I do is I put on I put the little bumper on first it's the bumper part on I call it a little, a little bumper put this on first put that on first on the brake rod against the brake caliper right here put that on first and then I put the little black o-ring put this on next put that on next just like that oh, there we go then i put the washer on like i said this keeps that little black washer from getting caught up in the circle part of this adjustable little grommet right here. Cause sometimes that black black little washer might get caught up in that little that hole right there. But you can find these adjustable ones like this. These are real real good because they um like I said you can adjust it out. You can adjust your brake tension by that right there too. So that's real cool. That comes standard on the Miyako MX8 Nitro buggy. Put that on there like that. And um, 
always, 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 always. When you're mounting your brakes, when you're doing your brakes, keep aware that your set screw is up top to make you better, you know, get to that set screw easier. So again, put it through the rod, put it through the loop. I have to adjust. Once I get in there, okay, I put the bumper part on. This one in, put that on first. Bumper part, like that. Then the O-ring, the black O-ring, just like that. All this is a part of your maintenance. All this is a part of your maintenance. So y'all can see. So this is a part of your maintenance. Let me make sure y'all can see this. So I got that. Okay. So now I'm working here. I got that through the little linkage hole right there. So now I got the black little washer on. Now I'm going to put the silver washer. And now the adjustable grommet goes on last. You want this, this screw part to go on first. You want that on first because that gives you the extra tension you may need to adjust it out later so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug everything up so the servo will be in the in the position where it's going to be when you turn everything on turn the car on turn everything's on now so now I'm gonna Adjust, charge that radio up, and I'm gonna adjust this, push it back where it's a little tension on the brake, but not a lot. Get the set screw part up like that, like that. So yeah, set screw out, up top, so you can adjust same way. Twist the weather set screws up top and adjust this. Just like that. So again, if I can, can see it, I put the little bumper the little bumper washer first then the little black little bump the little black washer that I got off the high end needle second and then the silver washer to keep the little black um, washer from getting caught up inside this little hole that's in the um, adjustable bracket right here so so yeah so yeah, this is just a little extra TTR team tip. It just will help us have more consistent brakes. And then if we need more braking, we need more brakes, we just twist this part here. Just put tension on the ball right here. Just like that. It puts more tension on the brakes. See how that look? This part moving back. Puts more tension on that. We need more brake. And then if you need more break than that then you can go into your into your radio and adjust it out too so yeah just a this is just a ttr team tip tuesday ekj 24000 y'all stay tuned for my next live I may go live um sunday got a, a young man from mississippi that's gonna be on my next live and y'all also check out my patreon of course join on patreon and 
donate, 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 donate. But yeah, EK, EKJ24000, when you're ripping, you're tripping. Left toss salute. And treat people the way you want to be treated. And let them haters be your motivators. And let's rip. Us down here in the Southeast, we got no excuse for not going outside and ripping. If Nitro is dead, if Fifth Scale is, it seems like Fifth Scale is dead too. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody other than T Mac. He don't want to see rip. He don't want to see rip. Then I go to the track down at the fun place, do my laps. I, I'm ripping. Woogie Nitro, he ripping. I don't know what Muggy. I don't know what Nitro Freak doing, Muggy. Hey, it's almost spring. We ain't got no excuse. But yeah, EKJ24000. Not calling nobody out. I just want us to enjoy the hobby. And we making these videos to help each other. So what we gotta, we gotta be able to go out and run our stuff to show each other, to help each other. You know what I'm saying? Can't just talk about it all the time. Not saying everybody talking about it, but I'm just saying. Do these things, trying to help someone. You gotta put our practice to work, you know, so. EKJ24000, free and ribbon you trip. Peace.